This podcast contains adult content. Hello, darlings. Hello, I'm Margot Marshall. And I'm Sue Gives a Fuck. And I really do. So, Margaret, what's your gender today? My gender today is Melanie C's high kick. Oh. Hi, see, yeah, hold tight. And Susan, what is your gender today? I am an unexpected item in someone else's bagging area. <laughs> Well, sort of, like, that's very much what the podcast is about. It's like, are we ladies? So, Marjorie, you this week have been... <laughs> this is getting worse. <laughs> this is getting worse. You uh, have been up and down the provinces. You've been visiting uh, this country's regions. And uh, it turns out, in our country's uh, lesser known towns and cities, there are also gentlemen. There are. There are gentlemen everywhere. Who knew? <laughs> who, who, who did know? I'm from Manchester, and I tell you, when I was there, there were, there were not gentlemen. No. Well, Bolton. Yeah, there still That's aren't still a step Bolton, down, aren't isn't there? it? That's like, you're going to get a slightly more diversity in Manchester, I imagine. If, if by slightly you mean some, then yes. Well, I was in Manchester. You were? I was. Um, I was there with the Girls Aloud crew. Shout out to the girl, Sh- Girls No, I almost said the Girls Aloud crew. Sadly, <laughs> she'll get there. But at the moment, it was the Girls Aloud crew. Girls Aloud. Girls Aloud. Um... Uh, was a band that I was, well, a lip syncing group mm-hmm. that I was part of with uh, Ophelia Love, Her the Queen, Cheryl Hole, um, uh, Kitty Scott Claus, and then Tace as Javine, as like an extra. So we all went up there to do a gig at some place I don't even know the name of. Huh? I was hungover when I woke up, I got in the car, we drove. I got there, and of course, I had a drink as well. She's very professional, do bucker. <laughs> Hasn't stopped me yet. <laughs> um, so, yes, we, we did the show. We are having a lovely time. The girls were like, right, I'm going to get out of drag because I want a nice night. And I was got like, you. I'm going to stay in drag because, you want because nice I want night. a nice night. Right? I don't want to be treated like a skanky little twink no. hanging out in a gay bar. You're Who wants to be them? I'm Margot Marshall. Well, I've got a story to tell. So, <laughs> yeah, so my sister's best friend uh, stayed. Okay, cute. And saw the show. So I was like, great, let's go to this next place. So we go, we're like chishing about on it. He's like, yeah, this is really cute. I buy gin and tonic, you know, keep it. It's a pretty average night thus far. Um, and then um, his friend turns to me and goes, oh, Look at that man. Ooh. And we look across and he's six foot five. Oh, that's a good height. He's Italian looking. Mm. Just like, he- like literally head and shoulders above everybody oh. else. Oh, literally just, and metaphorically. Literally and metaphorically. And wandering around just like sort of aimlessly. Mm. I was like, wow, that is a beautiful human. And then in that moment, he turns. And he sees... Who does he see? Marco Marshall. No. He I does. That coming. <laughs> It'd be a pretty I, shit story if it was somebody like, else. I thought this, the real turn was going to be, and he sees Ophelia Love, they're married now. <laughs> um, so, um, but he goes, oh, he's looking over. Oh. His friend. Um, and I was like, yes, yes, he is. And then he starts to wander over. So obviously all three of us act like five-year-old girls at a playground. We're like, oh, oh my God, oh, no. <laughs> act cool, act cool, relax. Mm. Um, and then I was like, oh no. Oh, he thinks it's for him. Oh, the, f- the friend. The friend. Oh. Ah. Uh, and how did, how did it emerge? How was this decided, which one it was for? Oh, well, he then lent in and he went, oh, I'm sorry, I've got a boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, I mean, you do, if you're walking over to someone, no, not him, the friend. So the friend, oh, he, this six he foot turns hunk, him down. this six foot hunk goes in to talk to us, and he goes, oh, 'I'm really sorry, I have a boyfriend.' Baby, no, <laughs> no. And obviously, I, I could have stopped this, but I was you like, 'You're going to learn your lesson, right? You're going to stop rubbing rubbing that couple in all of our faces, they, okay?'" That whoever that person was, they needed to learn that lesson. Well, Let them speak first. Just double check. You don't go straight right. in with the rejection. Right. He could have been like, you're an ugly bastard. Right. You know, or just wanted to let you know. You're, you know, you're, you're stood on my coat. Yeah. Anything. Yes. 
Yeah. Um, well, I let that happen and uh, he went, oh, um, no. I actually wanted to speak to her. Oh, did he use the word her? her. Like, oh. I was like, he def- if he's calling me her, he definitely only wants to speak to her. Do you know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? Like, he's only here for the... The ladies with a little extra, not the gentleman without makeup on. Right. You know? Not the gentleman with a lot less. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, he obviously bowed his head out and ran away. Bless, little friend. And then we were just talking. He brought me, like, four or five drinks over. Oh, nice. We were just dancing together, having a lovely time. And then... He was like, oh, he was sh- dancing as well. He was dancing as well. Was he? he was very open and proud and out there. And I was just like, you know what? When you're that stunningly beautiful, I imagine you can just be like, this is what I'm into. And I don't give a shit because I still look like this. Right. No matter what you look like, no matter what you think of me, I still look like a model. Oh. That's got it. That's really got to give you some like. I would behave terribly. <laughs> I really would. You already do. I so do. I do. <laughs> I can only imagine. So yeah. we go out of the club. He's holding my hand. It's, oh, it's super oh, cute. Oh. And then he's like, right, you need to. Um, we need to get your bag, don't we? And I was like, oh yeah, I left it at the club. Oh. The last club. Okay, daddy. All right. right? And then we w- we walked past G A Y, and I was like, "Oh, you'd have left that bag." Oh, I'd have left that bag. I'd have been a hot mess. Mm. He's also not a daddy. He's like twenty five. That's my favourite with with the with the mind and the spirit of a daddy, but the body <laughs> of a of a of a barely legal twink. Dream. Right, right. It was it was stunning. Um, and I was like, "Oh, damn it! I wanted to go into G A Y. I wanted to like see it, like because isn't it the original one?" The Manchester one? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that sounds right. We'll go with that. I feel like I want... Yeah, just, it was something I felt like I needed to do. Cool. Listeners, if you know the history of GAY, um, keep no. it to yourself. Yeah. Uh, so. We're very busy. <laughs> so, um, he was like, oh, well, let me take you for a drink in there. We go in for another little cocktail on the balcony, having oh, a little cute. look over Manchester. He was like, how have you found your time in Manchester? Real talking actual niceness unbelievable okay. you know he wasn't just like well no we've said we're leaving now so you know pull your skirt up and you know it was lovely <laughs> and bend over this bin <laughs> you know it was uh, it was very <laughs> lovely so then we trotted off to the next or to the not the next place the place that I'd been performing at to pick up my bag right and good. all the girls had come back oh you must have been happy to that- see them uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, okay. I can't really remember why, but I do remember that I didn't want to speak to them because I bareface ignored them, even <gasps> when they spoke to oh, me no. while I was... <laughs> you treated them like they were fans. Do you think that he thought that they were fans? I don't know. Maybe that was my game. I have no idea. But then he went to the toilet and I walked over to them and I was like, sorry, girls, but he's fucking hot. And just walked <laughs> off. <laughs> they were just like, who is this psychopath that See, Margot has turned into? I would have played this so differently because I'd have thought that that would be my moment to show them what a handsome man I have and to show him how many friends I have. I mean, they were all out of drag, so there was no competition. I wasn't yeah. worried about that. I don't know. I think, well, they well they already saw me with him. Uh, I think I was so just being a, okay. an aloof bitch, really. Right. Um, you know, you were just like, uh, I've had in- enough beverages. I've got my bag. I'd really gotten all I need from this portion of the evening. Yeah. Now it's time to bend over that bin. Uh, no. No? Nope. <laughs> that is not my style. Sorry. <laughs> you do not put those words in my mouth. <laughs> you just wait for Susan's story. <laughs> so, yeah, so then we leave. And I'm like, how are we going to get back? And he's like, oh, just stay here. I was like, oh. Like, he's just... gone. He's gone like two minutes. Okay. And come round the corner comes sports car. Oh no! Wait, but I know. I know. So I know. When you described these four or five drinks. We I presume. I mean, I think I no. I think I mainly had them. He seemed very sober in comparison. Okay. But so it you... still probably wasn't mm. a good idea. I Make still, I still think he was oh, over. I, you know. Yeah. No judgment. I would have done the same. <laughs> if he'd say, if he'd said to me, you know, come and get in this old wheelbarrow that I put a rocket engine behind, and we're going to go on the motorway, I'd have said, sounds great. Um, yeah, thank you for being so handsome um, <laughs> and allowing me to be in your wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> 
Susan's living her life. I think I can't be 100% sure because I was very drunk, but I do think he was a lot less inebriated than me. I wouldn't call it. And called him inebriated. Like, he was carrying my bag. He was helping me upstairs. Look, we've all got our ways of justifying things, and that's fine. I justify it. Right. And In the moment. You only have but I wouldn't have given myself that advice. The police. Had it been... <laughs> <laughs> if I wouldn't give myself the advice of what I had done if I was me now. No. But I see Why how I it? got myself in that silly situation. Likewise... Listeners, I don't think there's one among you who could say you would have done otherwise. Yeah, okay, except for you, mum. Sorry. Um, so, <laughs> so, I get in this sports car, and we're beelining it down the road, and he keeps, like, looking at me, just, like, keeps looking. I'm like, you've got to stop, look, look at the road. It's like, just one kiss then. I'm like, oh, fine. Uh. I mean, we've been making out for quite a long time this, this evening as well. This is very nervous. So I'm like... Oh, so well we kiss we just kiss and I was like right you've really got to stop looking at me now he does look at the road <laughs> so I was like what's going to help you concentrate and he was like I'm really hard <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really horny I was like okay I can help <laughs> this is something I can help with I made him promise he was going to look at the road <laughs> So I just started giving him a Once gentle... Once again, I say, we've all got our A gentle, sexual, you know... You are nothing if not a concerned job. citizen with a deep consideration for road safety. <laughs> do what you have to do. I think so. For some reason, in my mind, I thought this was a good idea, so I started giving him if a hand job. If they you and your tactics as a traffic warden, I think we'd have <laughs> much smoother roads. I think so. <laughs> uh, there'd yeah. be an express lane to the SDI clinic, but... <laughs> and there should be. <laughs> but... I quite agree. Well, I'm a... Taxis, team. buses, and speed runs to the SDI clinic. <laughs> <laughs> Panic-stricken bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I d- it, was re- it was a really lovely penis. Like, it was, oh, was it? gorgeous. So I started blowing him as well. Because I was just like, I feel, I feel great in this moment, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to know that it's the wrong thing to do, but also... Uh, he was looking at me, so at least now he's not looking at me because he wasn't looking at the back of my head. I don't know. Maybe he was. The thing is, uh, I think that not watching the road is covered in the highway manual. I don't think blowjobs are covered, so I think you might be all right there. Have I got? A f- have I found a loophole? No one could send you down. Well, you did send yourself down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, well, yeah. So that was lovely, um, and then you know. Um, that sorted him out for like, because we were in the car for a little bit. Like, I guess it must have been about half, like not half an hour, about okay. 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. I was like, it was getting to the point. I was like, okay, well, he's super hot, but whoa. <laughs> <You're> nervous. <Ooh. laughs> then, am I ever going home? <laughs> then we Do put I just it... live here now? Like... <laughs> am, I, am I Manculian now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn it. Is this how they, is this how they get people to move to the regions? You know, they just kidnap them. <laughs> <laughs> this it's is actually a Theresa May government program. Around. That's what it is. Yeah. He's just like, get the, the queers out of London. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just pop you on this ship. I'll join you in a second, darling. There we go. Um, so yes, uh, well, we get out of this, his yeah. car um, and we're um, at this very, very nice house. And I was like, oh, is this, is this your parents' house? And he was like, No. This is my car. I was like, "Why? Oh, wow! What? It was really nice. No, like it was why, like. How would he have that? Independently wealthy? Do you think? No, I don't think that it, he was. I don't think. I don't think he came from money. Like I didn't get come from money from him. And he asked me to cut. Oh, no, we go inside the house. Okay. And he goes, Alexa, put the light on in the bedroom. <gasps> no. The lights go on in the bedroom. And you just follow the light. And he goes. Follow the light. Oh, no! Follow the light. Fucking hell. Oh. And so all I can see is like half glimmer of this gorgeous house. And just, I was just like, this, this is, that was incredible. That, that was incredible. He's, he's rehearsed that move. I, I mean, he, I think he worked for Amazon. Okay. He like, so he had some sort of like upscale Alexa or some shit. Super Alexa. But like, it was absurd. That Because then he was in the mind. bathroom and he was like, Alexa put the light on in the, no, he was in the bedroom and he was like let's put the light on in the bathroom 
And then like the bathroom in his little ensuite came on. I need, I, it's, this is the first time it's ever occurred to me that perhaps I need an Alexa. I feel like perhaps I need an Alexa to have good sex. It would help. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, it'd be so nice and effortless to like, you know, oh. switch the light off or like go to mood lighting. Alexa, go to mm. mood lighting, you know. Alexa, put on the sex state. And then, like, the lovely lighting comes you on. You actually need the to mirror have comes sex. down. Money. What? Money. <laughs> Money. That's what you need. Yeah, it's the waxing, it's the upkeep, it's the nice the house to car. do it in, the sports car to get there quickly. To get the blowjob in. I You're just... not sucking, me, sucking him off in a Ford Escort, you know what I mean? No, I wouldn't have. I would. It really. It, <laughs> it was bad, but I did. I fell into the sort of ridiculousness of it all. I loved oh, yeah. it. The money, the. Oh, yeah. We the fame, the glamour. Well, yeah, and then, um, you know, we started to have some pretty... I mean, it was fucking awesome. Oh, I'm not going to lie. It was fucking incredible sex. He knew exactly what he was doing with it. I knew exactly what I was doing with mine. We took our turns. Um, we throw ourselves out. You know, we chat for a bit afterwards. Okay. You know, we do the really cute rolling around in the sort of like... The, you know, you end up like in that position and then that, the, just chatting. It was great. We had um, some water. It wasn't, you know, he offered me a drink. I was like, no, no. <laughs> that portion of the night is definitely done. Tomorrow's going to be horrendous enough as oh, it is. What time are we talking at this point? So it's about half six. Mm, and he's thinking, like... Is the, is the sun coming up? No, thankfully. We're oh. in the dead of winter. Oh, Maybe God. it isn't half six. Maybe winter it's like six. is a drag queen's friend. Oh, it really is. Mm. It really is. Um, so he's like, uh, I'd love for you to stay, but my mother is arriving at ten. And I was like... What? Oh, honey, say no more. Is he going to be able to cope with his mother? I I was like... To be fair, fair she's probably coming around to give him some more money anyway. So he'll, Yeah, do you know, it's fine. Just like, it's fine. Hello, darling. <laughs> How could I help? Another car fuel. Shall I put a laundry on for you? Did the Alexa make the pretty girl suck your penis? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, he was like, but let me run you back to your Airbnb. Oh. I get a chauffeur. Which is probably far, quite far away now. Well, yeah, it took us half an hour to get there. <gasps> half That's an, an hour. That's an hour trip for him. Just to get a little bit of pounding. So, um, uh, I would like to say that those were Susan's words and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favourite word. I ju- you're just absurd. So, yeah. I, we... mean, uh, I, I used the word pounding in a show the other day to uh, an audience uh, of mainly quite wealthy people in their 60s. They did not enjoy it. <laughs> there were no laughs after that. I, I, yeah, I imagine. Sorry. Anyways, you get back to your... Yeah, so we get back, um, yeah. and then he's like, great, um, you know, maybe see you soon. And I was like, um, no, I don't live in Manchester, and I'm not coming back. And I jumped out of the car and there didn't give is. him my number and just slammed the door not I, even a number. No, I didn't. I was a just like... A who uses an Alexa with such admirable dexterity. I don't know. There was just really something about... I was like, you know what? I just... This was one wonderful night and one that's night. what it's going to be. And, you know, you're beautiful. I'm an incredible character and you can sell this story to folk when I'm famous. <laughs> Susanna, what happened to you while I was away? Well, I have continued with the Tinder, you know. Yes. Um, messaging gentlemen uh, of various sorts. And I spoke to one gentleman. Well, I've been speaking to him now for quite a while, actually. Oh. Uh, yes. As you may know, I tend to enjoy or perhaps get turned on, really, by uh, romance. Or more specifically, sort of the pretense of romance. Yeah. You know, like overdone, drawn mm. out BBC One, with someone eight don't o'clock know. drama with exactly. some. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm Elizabeth Bennett. He's Mr. Darcy, but actually neither of us know each other's names. It's kinky as fuck, really. Yeah, uh, and I think part of it is that, like, I am sad and alone. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> but I think that it's because I, I think because I'm odd, undeniably, um, yeah. like sort of rom-com romance is just so far removed from like, because I grew up, you know, watching the same rom-coms as everyone else, yeah. but it's actually so far removed from what's possible for me. I'm mm. not going to be high school sweetheart, have a nice boy. Do yes. You know what I mean? So it's become sort of the kinkiest thing. 
like the, the weirdest yeah. thing that I can possibly imagine. Yeah. And so I always do it. Like, so my ultimate fantasy is, uh, and I haven't done it for obvious reasons, is to tell like a sort of stranger that I'm having sex with that I love them. Wow. So uh, maybe I'll give it a go and that'll be next sweet story. Yeah. We uh, are such different people. So different. Just the idea of that just makes one of our... The idea of somebody telling me halfway through sex, even when I did love them, that they loved me, I'd be like... No. All right, chill out, dickhead. Oh, oh, and, and but the, that's also like you're the response in me. that I want, right? Oh, no. Oh. The moment of rejection, the ultimate climax for a subby little rom-com Juliet. <laughs> wow. Right? In this scene, it's like Leo and Kate, their eyes meet through a fish tank. Yeah. Uh, and they think, ooh, don't we look funny because we're in a fish tank? Um, <laughs> 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 uh, and then they sort of pull up and Leo's like, uh, oh, she always looks quite funny, actually, because she's trans. So we've got a trans Juliet. Uh, yeah. And then the scene plays out quite differently in that situation, mm. doesn't it? Like, yeah. if that Juliet were stood on a balcony saying... Romeo, deny thy father and renounce thy name mm. and be but sworn my love. Uh, he'd have to, well, he'd have to have a stern word. Be really. like, shh. Right? People that are around. He'd be like, look, love, you, you're a great laugh at a night yeah. out. Mm. But if you think anything's happening, mm. you can get in the bin. I mean, that is really quite horrible. I mean, maybe this is a discussion we shouldn't have when just before you're about to tell a story. But a lot of these men really do approach it as you know, we are some horrible secret thing to hide. Mm -hmm. And um, I've actually started to get very angry at people for it. Mm -hmm. And I had a go a night night out on Sunday. This Sunday I had a go uh, a guy for being really horrible and weird. Like coming on to you being like, oh. Coming on to me, trying to drive me back to his house automatically. Mm -hmm. Like not really wanting to speak to any of like my friends, even though he wanted to hang out with me. Following me to the toilet, like. Yeah. grabbing me while I was like literally trying to just literally just trying to have a wee yeah. and I was like everything out I had my face still on but I literally just left right um, the club and I'd like gone out with Sizzle and um, Amy and stuff and I just like was in my trainers like literally like jeans trainers and a t-shirt like I was obviously not playing the game right. do you know what I mean but I was like yeah, you know, I was trying to talk to him I was uh, and then yeah he like followed me outside when I went um, outside to smoke with someone I was just like do you think that that's you something that being... he does with people? Or do you think he just did it because you were in makeup and therefore he thought that you were some sort of... I don't know, but this isn't the first person no, that's and I say that, treated and I me like that thing. when I'm in makeup. You I know. was in a club uh, doing Felix the Freak's bingo thing yeah. in Shoreditch and a guy came up to me and he said, do you know what? I'd fuck you. Oh, now, And what I hate about that is, wow. firstly, the sort of... He feels when he's saying that that he's... he's Take him on for the team or something. Like, he's doing me a favour, isn't he? Yeah. I'll oh, fuck you. Um, well, um, you, well, I don't think you will, actually. No. Um, no, you fucking won't. You will? No, no, I mean, you know, I'm a subby little bitch, but I ain't taking that. No. Um, uh, yeah, so... Listeners, you know. I would have done. <laughs> I was working, I couldn't, I'm very professional. Yeah. But... Anyway, so... Basically, that's... we're saying trans people and non-binary people shouldn't... If you're attracted to them, just fucking say it. We're proper people. Like, we're actual Normal people. Normal rules apply. And... No, yeah, we, we, yeah, we get that, you know, people are maybe going to stare and stuff, but these are things that we, you know, actually have to talk through. Yeah. And you could talk to, you know, talk through with just them, but also as, you know, as a wider community we need to talk about. Right. And that's what we're doing. Right here. Sorting right now. Sorting out gender. Gender sorted now. You're welcome. There we go. Um, Bye. But yeah, so I'm into kind of romantic <laughs> things. And so with this gentleman, conversation uh, turns romantic as it so often does. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Usually led by you? Always, always right. led by me. Okay. You know, they'll be like, nice pics. And I'll be like, oh, thank you. How kind you are. <laughs> Why are you so good to me? <laughs> but this guy, well, he rose to the challenge. Mm. Oh, wow. He really rose to the challenge. He, because what I didn't anticipate, so he's from Dubai uh, and has recently moved over and is uh, a virgin. Oh. Uh, so he's, he, in moving over, he's left behind, I think, I don't know to what extent he has, but he's, there's been a departure. And okay. he's left behind a certain amount of his family or his family's expectations. Anyway, he's looking now Brave. to date in 
uh, well, you know, not uh, the way that his parents would like, which is to, yeah. uh, an arranged marriage, really. Right. And he's obviously, you know, always had an interest in the tea girls. Yeah. And I think because of that expectation and that, that background, you know, he has grown up thinking that r- romance exists within marriage. I think that's why he rises so much to the challenge of this romance right. led. Oh. Uh, and he, well, he, he takes it quite a long way, actually. Uh, I mean, later, uh, he, he does at one point mention, um, he says, when we live together. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, the problem oh, is, for me, obviously, the romance thing is, is a bit of a kink. Yes. Like, if I'm going to actually fall in love and have a relationship, I'm probably going to do it in the usual way, at sort of the usual speed. Uh, most definitely, yeah. So, yeah. that's an issue. And probably with a lot less, sort of, maybe maybe not less romance over the course. Mm. You will have romance, but not in such concentrated fashion. No. Yeah. We're not going to go from, hi, what's your name, to... Yeah. Uh, and not this level all the time. No. You know. Whereas yeah. I think he seems to exist at that level. Right. But anyway, so he told me a story about... How his life got flipped, turned upside down. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shooting some b-ball. You know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd get that, uh, that right. reference in this? Woo. He was telling me a story about... He'd had this trans uh, friend, who, well, who, uh, a friend who was, you know, uh, a lad in school and turned out to be a trans woman and he felt that he hadn't been perhaps the kindest mm-hmm. to her or hadn't helped her or whatever. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. He had some shit going on. And on the basis of that, what he would like to do is fund my uh, transition privately. Good God. So some red flags. That is a up. bold yeah, move. It is, it is, it is. Red flags. Uh, and ultimately, I just be like, okay, that's daft. Except for the just a little desperate glimmer of hope. In me. That it might be true. Exactly. Yeah. Exact Amanda. Yeah. Well, there's anyway. So there's 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 that idea in mind, and and so we we arranged to to meet up. Uh huh. And it's it's been a while in the making, and because I'm a subby little bitch, I ask him what he'd like me to wear, oh. um, and he says, "Well, actually, it's funny you should mention. Uh, there is a photo on your Instagram that I think you look uh, that I, I really like." And obviously I'm delighted because I've only got four followers. So So, I'm like, oh, number five. (laughs) Woo! Uh, And so I wonder, you know, what photo does he think that I look my most beautiful in? Uh, And then he says, it's this one. Uh, And it's what it is. It's of me dressed uh, and with makeup done as uh, Theresa May. (laughs) Mm. No. Mm, no, Yeah. Wow. mm, Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say. No, well, uh, so I didn't know whether that meant... Because he's from Dubai, does he know who that is? Oh, gosh, of course, also. Right, is it just, like, an older woman? Or is it the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Like, what... It It can't be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Well, they're opposites, aren't they? Because if he wants an older woman, then maybe he wants something a bit feeble. I don't... Because she's not, like, Milfolder, you know? She's, like... No. She's... What... I Just know. a bit older. She's probably not shy of 70, really. No. She's not a... Let's look it up. Google it. Google it. Um, I'm going with, I think she's uh, 60... No, I think she's 58. Theresa May is... 62. Oh. In between the two, but you were... Okay, I you was were... more right. But, yeah, okay, so does he want me to be a 62-year-old woman? And what does that mean? Does that mean, you know... But, I mean, the reason I'm, I'm, I'm uh, trying to work this out so, so much is because, obviously, I've agreed to it. Yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> it's happening. And so does he want me to play uh, a, a weak and feeble old lady? Or play? Does he want me to just be myself? <laughs> or does he want me to be the literal Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? And sort of... You know, I don't know. Tear up his budget. His... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna dismantle your s- social care. <laughs> Get, take this on your backstop. <laughs> <laughs> Shove it up his backstop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, which one does he want? Uh, is Slap the, that the, round your checkers. Is the crucial question. So, well, listeners, um, I'm gonna let you know. Woo! And me, please. No, I shan't tell you. (laughs) 
Now it's time for You've, You've Got, Got Mail. M A L E. So, Miss Marshall, <laughs> what uh, was your message of the week? Your strangest, most interesting, most fabulous uh, um, message. message of the week. Well, this one is a strange one. So, um, you know, I had that gentleman over the last week thing. who wanted. Um, uh, you know, we were masturbating at the same time. It was very attractive, making out, mm. that one. Um, the one who, like, asked who was in the house and got weird about it. Oh, who stood by the door and was a little bit uncomfortable yes. by the door. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, well, he commented a few times. He was like, oh, who's in the house? And I was very panicked. and Well, not panicked, but I was worried. Like, I was like, don't worry, everybody in this house is not going to be anyone yeah. you know. And you're, one of those don't who worry. comes round yeah. and... I discreet know, perhaps because they expect like their life is I don't know maybe they're living with a partner or yeah so he thinks that we're all sort of secret little like hiding scared, I was like no we're all making out in cupboards we're all just a big bunch of happy facts here like uh, well happy and all of you are but um, I am uh, so um, he he sent me don't a message you felt emotion you don't know what happiness no, is. No, um, She just carries on. Anyway. I get more done. So, um, he said, um, I, I, we were talking about him coming over again. Mm. And he said, can you convince your friend to sit and watch us? Oh, to watch? Uh, he wanted you, specifically, uh, to come in the room and sit and watch and not do anything. Oh. Or, or to yourself. He just wanted you... <laughs> Because I had to, I was like, oh, you want a third oh party God, in this? I so play the role of sort of stern matron in the corner. <laughs> well, that's all I could then envision of you just sort of like in an apron, like, right. sorry for catching your dears. <laughs> like, you know, oh, <laughs> like, you were thinking I, more d- that's like, all I could see. Like, mum coming to catch shocked her. Shocked housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Lady Marshall. Uh, please forgive me, I shall back out. Um, yeah. Oh, so, I was but... picturing more nanny. Oh, okay. Yeah, Maybe sort of like, children like play just sensibly. like stroking his back and being like, "Go on." Yeah. Well, yes, that was my strange one. Mainly just because of sort of like the idea that it then created, rather than I get. Well, I guess it was a fairly strange thing to ask. I mean, it's not that strange. Some people like to be watched, but then he didn't know what the word exhibitionist was. Because oh. I was like, "Oh, you're an exhibitionist," and he was like, "What's that?" And I was like, "Is this seriously how wrapped up in cotton wool?" some straight white men are. Like, he didn't even know what that's exhibitionism what it, was. That's an old-fashioned kid. That's like... Come on, I flashers do that. that one for, for ages. Well, yes. So, Susan, <clears throat> what is your weirdest, strangest, most fabulous message this week? Uh, well, it may be weird and it may be strange, but I'm actually going with most fabulous. Oh. Mm. And because it's me, of course, it is both weird and yeah. strange. Yeah, This one, it was... A, I, I enjoyed it a great deal. Sometimes when I tell this story... Um, I've got to pick my audiences um, because it's it's just well, it's, it's a dom sub scenario. Yeah, it's what it is. And yes. some of the straight girls of Shoreditch, where I do some of my comedy, they can't they can't handle they it. can't handle it. They can't cope with it. But so this is a gentleman uh, who uh, we actually got talking off Grinder. <gasps> yes, uh, and we met up once um, a while ago. Uh, and it initially was going to be a sort of normal meet, but then it became clear we were together for a long time. I had a great deal of white wine, as you know, that Susan likes. I think I was there. I wasn't in the room. It was him, yes! Yes! You yes. saw him. We, we, we came, yes, came you came in. and introduced him to us. That was a curious move, Yeah, wasn't it? That was odd. I was showing him off. That's you what were, was because he was, he was quite attractive. He was attractive, and I was, just, I was just proud of myself in that moment. I was having a nice time. <laughs> good, good. I was like, uh, Margot, how are you doing? I've got this. And I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. I did do a little, I did, did do a little, actually. yeah. I thought it also might add to the sort of like yeah. fetishness of the whole Because you weren't in face or anything. I wasn't. But then I, I did see you assume the character. Yes, like, oh, she did Margo's erupt. Here, she? Well, it is helpful just being quite queer and having long hair and yeah. mm-hmm. sometimes you, you can get away with it. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so well. anyway, we had that meet up, started all normal and nice and then turned into him playing a dom role. Uh, yeah, which I'm so about. Yeah, I'm not only about that, but that is the thing that I'm about. Yeah, uh, and you know that was what it was. Uh, you know, we then continued to message in the subsequent days, mm. and the messages were kinkier than the dom sub situation had been in the. It's oh, growing. wow! It it's growing. going somewhere. I mean, it's well, it's going, it's going all, all the way there. Wow. Um, okay. 
Anyway, uh, so one evening after I'd done a show, again, white wines, um, it, well, he sent me, um, so the role, the Dom Sub, the, the Dom Sub relationship, it can be a lot of different things. Mm. Uh, what characters are you actually playing? Yeah. Uh, and I like the, the characters to be quite firm because I like my Dom Sub dynamic, uh, psychological, really. I don't want a paddle. I don't yeah. want tied up. I don't want any of that shit. I want you to be corrupt politician and I'm sort of helpless little rat in a maze. Or I want what we went with in this scenario, which was abusive husband. (laughs) Susan. So his messages were that he would gaslight me in a a, a very fetching manner. uh, And I would play the role of the gaslit little sort of Edwardian wife, really, which is my dream dynamic. Gaslighting. Um, that's what's that? When you try and make someone fall in feel love with you. Mad. Oh. Ow. Oh! Right? Yeah. So you like you just treat them in such a way as if they're behaving unreasonably all the time or whatever it is, or it's all their fault. Yeah. Yes, kind of yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh you know, like Psychopath. Um, uh, so negging is a bit like gaslighting. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anyway, so as part of this interchange, he sent me a voice message. So my message of the week is actually a voice message. Oh. Uh, and in it, uh he just says quite quietly, um, does it make you sad that I don't respect you? Oh, <laughs> Oh, sad is not the word. No, it makes me finish. Oh, <laughs> oh there he goes. Susan. Oh, there it is. There it is.